Good afternoon, Captain James Pogue here, the Marion County Sheriff's Office with your daily crime report. Thanks for joining us. Seems that someone broke into a home in the 5800 block of Southwest 61st Place, stole $400 worth of electronics. And then the home in the 3100 block of Southwest 89th Place was broken into. Someone stole $870 worth of electronics. Seems Deputy Bowinkle responded to uh, the 5400 block of Southeast 104th Place in reference to a battery and grand theft, 19-year-old Gerard Webster was arrested after the investigation revealed that while he was at the home, he battered the victim and stole a cookie tin containing $350. Webster admitted to the theft. At least he stepped up like a man and admitted it. Someone broke into a home in the 30,000 block of Northeast 97th Street and stole numerous appliances and household furnishings valued at $4,100. And then Deputy McIntosh attempted a traffic stop on a vehicle going 82 miles an hour in a 55 on South Highway 441. The driver, later identified as 33-year-old Letitia Johnson, immediately turned onto Northwest 35th Street at a high rate of speed. Uh, Johnson stopped the vehicle on Northwest 21st Street and fled into the woods. The investigation revealed that Johnson fled due to having two outstanding warrants and a suspended driver's license. So now another warrant has been issued for her arrest. I'm sure we'll catch up with her quite soon. Deputies were at Cloud 9, our favorite uh, establishment there on South Pine. They made contact with Antonio Clay, 26 years of age, who was sitting in a vehicle that had an odor of marijuana coming from it. Imagine that. Clay was in possession of not only marijuana, hmm, but also cocaine. He was arrested and transported to the Marion County Jail. Units responded to the 6300 block of Northwest uh, 52nd Avenue in reference to a battery. Deputy McIntosh was informed that 42-year-old Richard Crook had punched the victim for no reason. Crook rode by the deputies on a small dirt bike and was ordered to stop. Of course, he refused. After a short distance, he fell off the bike and attempted to flee on foot, but of course, he was apprehended. Upon inspection of the dirt bike, it was learned that the VIN number had been scratched off, means that it was probably stolen. So we're looking into that. And uh, Crook, he was transported to the Crook Hotel. I mean, the Gold Star Hotel. Anyway, hey, like us, share us. Glad to be back. We hope you had a great day. See you in the morning.